5 Things to Expect from the Rescheduled President Trump Kim Jong-un Summit After meeting with North Korean officials, President Trump announced Friday that the cancelled summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was back on. Here's what you need to know about the latest development in this diplomatic roller coaster. The summit will still take place on June 12 in the Southeast Asian island nation of Singapore, now only a week and a half away. The president attempted to temper expectations about the historic summit. We're not going to sign something, Trump said when it comes to North Korea's nuclear weapons program. He noted that the process will begin on an agreement to have Kim eliminate the program. Trump wouldn't commit Friday to removing the economic sanctions placed on North Korea, which Pyongyang wants the U.S. and its allies to remove. They were placed on the country because of its nuclear program. I look forward to the day when I can take the sanctions off North Korea," Trump said. He also noted that additional sanctions are ready, but they wouldn't be applied unless talks break down. One of the topics Trump discussed Friday with North Korean officials was a possible peace treaty between North and South Korea. The conflict between the two Koreas is still technically ongoing, the 1953 agreement that brought an end to fighting was an armistice, not a peace treaty. The Korean War started on June 25, 1950, when North Korea invaded South Korea. 5. You can thank a North Korean official for this, and, maybe, a letter from Kim Jong-un himself Trump met with Kim Jong-un, a top aide to Kim Jong-un and former North Korean spy. The two, along with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and other North Korean officials, met for more than an hour in the Oval Office. And part of Kim Jong-un's mission was to hand deliver a letter from the North Korea leader. What was in the very nice letter? Trump won't say. Of course, part of that might be because he doesn't know what's in it. During the announcement, he later said that he hadn't even opened the letter. I may be in for a surprise, folks, he said. The White House sent out a release later Friday that said Trump, who had just left for his retreat at Camp David, M.D., had read the letter.